As I talk about my thoughts on the importance of proper high school education in marginalized communities, I want to talk about a story about Will Petaway. Will Petaway was a first-generation college graduate emerging from poverty in a marginalized community, and he experienced immense pressure to pursue higher education and ultimately succeed. Most of his family's resources were invested and allocated in him and his education, and he was determined to make sure it did not go to waste. Will entered theater school in Illinois and realized that there were limited opportunities for him, especially just in theater. There was a lack of representation and funding in that curriculum that led him to ultimately switch his major. The statistics surrounding education in marginalized communities is insane. According to the U.S. Department of Education, schools in low-income areas receive over $2,000 less per student in those marginalized communities compared to those in higher-income areas. This funding gap translates to fewer teachers in the classrooms, larger class sizes, and limited extracurricular activities, all which are uh, essential for a well-rounded education. In fact, students in low-income neighborhoods are 50% less likely to graduate from high school than their peers in more affluent areas. So Will's story is just one of those that highlight the critical need for proper high school education in marginalized communities. It's not just about Will, it's about everyone else like him who have the potential to thrive if given the right support and resources. I'm passionate because I believe that every student deserves an equitable education regardless of where they live. By talking about stories like Will and advocating for change, we can help ensure that future generations will have access to the quality education that they need. Next, I'm going to talk about, I don't know how to say his name, Bonfenbrenner's. That's going to be good. Von von Brenner's Sociological Theory of Human Development. So, the microsystem is the innermost layer and includes the immediate environments in where an individual will interact uh, directly. So, in this case, um, it talks about the microsystem would be family members, peers, teachers. So, parents can have attitudes towards education that can influence a student's motivation and performance. Peers also influence academic engagement, so students who are surrounded by people who value education are more likely to succeed. And then teachers, um, they play a crucial role in providing the support and resources and motivation that students need to succeed. Um, Next is the mesosystem. So it's kind of like the connections between all the other microsystems. So family and school relationships, community relationships. um, So if schools... Um, actively involve the families in the educational process, students might often feel more supported and then the lack of communication can often lead to disengagement and misunderstandings between the individual, the family, and the school. Um, A lot of local nonprofits or after-school programs can often provide academic support, uh, mentoring resources. Um, In marginalized communities, these organizations can bridge the gaps left um, by schools. So there could be after-school programs that these students go to um, that kind of fill what the school missed. Um, the exo, uh, yeah, the exo system is kind of the like broader social systems that kind of indirectly influence the individual, but will overall influence them. Um, so like the school boards and the government. So policies set by the school boards can like dictate the funding and the curriculum and the resources for that school. So. Um, policies that don't help students can definitely lead to inadequate facilities and resources. And then those policies that do affect the students, um, better can actually help with, um, educational success. So the local government, um, can have economic policies, laws, and funding for public education, which can affect the school quality and accessibility, So marginalized communities often experience budget cuts that diminish those opportunities. Um, I read about some uh, of the local government, I don't remember where, but they cut all libraries. There was no library in this community, which affected the educational opportunities. Students weren't um, able to read books, check out books. Um, A lot of students use computers in the library, and when that was cut off, students did not have access to technology. Um, the macro system is just overarching um, cultural and societal influences, so societal beliefs and laws and the economic systems. So societal values can often prioritize certain demographics over others that often lead to those systemic inequalities in education. 
So if the society undervalues the education in that marginalized community, their um, the cycle of poverty and limited opportunity just keeps going. And then laws that impact education funding and access can affect those marginalized communities. So funding for public schools and access to resources can often create systemic barriers. And then the last one is the Cornell system, which encompasses the time as it relates to that person in those environments. So again, policy changes, economic down, um, downturns, and life transitions. So just anything that changes over time. So a new policy for education was put in place. Um, like an example, like standardized testing. Standardized testing has changed all like over every single year. So that can impact the quality of education received over a certain amount of time. And then when there's a crisis in the economy that can often lead to cuts in the educational funding and support groups, um, again, creating challenges faced by those marginalized communities. Um, yeah, and then the end, I just want to ask and see where my classmates are wanting to teach. I want to um, talk about how I went to Concordia University for a while and a lot of students either had to pick between public school and Lutheran. Um, I chose public. I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so it is, there's a lot of communities in uh, Milwaukee and I just want to see how my uh, classmates are going to kind of help beat those barriers about education in marginalized communities. I just want to hear your thoughts. Thank you.